Hey guys, Blake Lunsford here with a Tuesday afternoon tip for the woodcarver. Today, we're going to talk about stropping your knife. Stay tuned and we'll get this blade back to a factory edge. See you in just a second. As a woodcarver, from time to time, you're going to run into a situation where your knife blade doesn't seem quite as sharp as it was when you first bought it. Doesn't matter if it's a long blade, like a two inch blade like this one, or a small blade like this one with a little upsweep. Uh, from time to time, that edge will roll or you'll get little micro chips or something like that in it. And you gotta be able to repair that knife so you can continue carving and not have difficulty with trying to run it through the wood. I think a lot of beginners get frustrated because their tools aren't super sharp. And today we're gonna to talk about how, return, how to return this edge back to a factory edge. See you in just a second. So usually what I like to do with flex cut gold is just to put it on the strop the same way you would a crayon. Uh, you just rub it in real well, uh, making sure you get that whole edge covered and you get it worked into the leather. And uh, once you get it worked in, then you just take your knife blade and most people find the bevel and they'll run it along the strop, pick it straight up, try to put it back down at the same angle and run it again. Uh, that's fine, but you're taking a chance on, ro on rolling the edge of the knife blade. So if you'll run it along the strop and you flip it over on the spine and run it back the other way, you're eliminating that chance of rolling the knife blade and you're able to maintain a good sharp edge by doing it this way. This process works the same way with a smaller blade. Here I've got a knife that's a small blade with a little bit of an upsweep. And you'll notice I'm doing it the exact same way. So you just find the bevel and you roll it on that spine when you get to the end of the first stroke. And that way you're not taking a chance on rolling that sharp edge uh, on a smaller knife also. Sometimes I like to use aluminum oxide, which comes in a powder form and I keep it in this little pill bottle. Uh, you have to use your knife blade and all you do is just get a little bit out, put it on the strop, and then you got to work it into the strop instead of just coloring it on there like you would the flex cut gold. Uh, so I get a little bit out, I work it into the leather so that it adheres to the leather and then uh, just strop it the same way as you would uh, with the flex cut gold. Uh, some people like it better than others. Uh, sometimes they feel as though they get a better edge with the aluminum oxide. It's really whatever you like. Uh, but you just drop it the same way and uh, it really does a good job maintaining that edge. After you've stropped your knife, a true test is to do a test cut on a good piece of basswood. Uh, just make sure as you're cutting the wood that there's not any scratches, uh, it's not tearing, and that you're also able to cut the ingrain. If you're able to cut through that ingrain, you know you've gotten a pretty good factory edge back on that knife. Uh, that's a true test to show how well you've done with your stropping. guys with a couple of swipes of this knife on that strop I was able to maintain that edge and get it back to a factory edge. Uh, this is a Ron Wells knife. Uh, it was the first knife that I ever bought back when I first started carving about 16 years ago. It's nice to know that I can run that knife along that strop every so often and maintain that factory edge uh, and maintain a good tool that you've had in your uh, carving box for so long. Uh, so Anytime that you're trying to uh, trying to maintain your knife, get your strop out, get you some good compound, and uh, go ahead and strop that knife the way I've showed you today. I think you'll be real happy with the way it turns out. Uh, this is Blake Lunsford uh, with some tips for the wood carver, and uh, thanks again for joining me today on Carving with Blake Lunsford. See you soon.